Hello XDA users, welcome back to XDA TV. My name is Rai Rosaizo and today we're gonna see what Multi-ROM is, how to install it and how to use it. So first of all, what is Multi-ROM? As the name suggests, Multi is multiple and ROM is, well, you know. So it's a thing that sits right after your bootloader and lets you pick what operating system you want to boot to. If you're familiar with Linux or dual booting your PC, it's like Grub on your mobile. So to show it to you, we're gonna have to install it first. So let's go ahead and download Multirom and install it from the Play Store. So let's go to the Play Store now and look for Multirom. And there it is, it's by Vojtek Bosek. Uh, nickname, his nickname on XDA is Tassadar, so look it up. And uh, all the links uh, are in the description down below. So I've already installed this app. Of course, you have to have a compatible device for this app to be installed. So let's open that. And of course, granted root access. All right. So my kernel already has the KXEC hardboot patch. So but I don't have the multi-ROM or the multi-ROM recovery, so I'm gonna hit install and by, as you can see, by only pressing one button, this uh, whole uh, thing is automated. It downloads the necessary files and at the end it tells me to reboot the phone so it can install all those files. And so as you can see here, it tells me that I have to reboot into recovery to complete the installation. It actually installed the TWRP modified multi-ROM recovery. So we'll just have to reboot to recovery and install the actual multi-ROM thing. So let's reboot now. And suddenly we're flashing. And then it reboots automatically to something we like to call multi-ROM. So as you can see, we have the internal storage here, the external storage if you want to plug a OTG cable. The internal storage has the internal ROM here, and MISC has uh, some reboot options, shutdown, and theme changes. I like this the best, I don't know why. Also, a an easter egg if you want, is pressing that little icon here, the uh, multi-ROM icon. So if I press that, we get Pong. Get to play Pong with a very hard AI. So anyway, you press the power to go back. And the only thing that's installed here is the internal ROM. Woo! That was a little tiring now, wasn't it? Well, that's not all. We're gonna get a random ROM from XDA and install it as a secondary ROM. So we can see it in the multi-ROM list. And so to be able to actually boot to that, we're gonna have to flash a kernel that supports KExec hardboot, which is also found on XDA. You only need that kernel on the primary ROM though. So I have the uh, ROM and the kernel downloaded. I already have KExec hardboot patch uh, installed in the kernel, but if you wanna know how to install a kernel that has uh, the KExec hardboot patch, you just hit install and pick the right zip and then install it just like you normally install without multi-ROM. And so let's go and add a ROM uh, into multi-boot multi or, or multi-ROM. So uh, we're going to hit advanced, multi-ROM, add ROM. It's Android, of course. It's installed into internal memory. So I'll just hit next. Pick the zip file. It's in Android. It's Limcat. And now I'm actually installing a 4.4.4 KitKat ROM on a 5.0 based uh, device if you want. My primary ROM is uh, factory images, is 5.0 factory images and I'm multi-booting an Android that is 4.4.4 KitKat. And it's done, so I just reboot this to the system, skip the auto boot thing. And there it is, there's internal and there's slim uh, build 8.8. .8. Uh, I can choose to boot that or choose to boot internal or I can configure an auto boot to boot after a predefined number of seconds or whatever. 
And that's basically it. Let's try booting Slimcat now. And there it is. Slimcat 4.4.4. You want proof? I can give you proof. There it is. Android 4.4.4. Alright, so that's it. I dual booted my phone, actually. I have two ROMs installed at once, and that's it. Okay, so we installed multi-ROM and dual booted another Android ROM. What else? How about a non-Android operating system? You can actually download and install Ubuntu Touch right from the app with a single tap on the install button and you're all set. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna get Firefox OS and put that as my third entry in multi-ROM and see if I can boot to that. Okay, so now that I've downloaded the uh, Firefox OS uh, zip file, I'm gonna go again to advanced, multi-ROM, add ROM, and it's Android based, so I'm gonna hit next, zip file, FFOS, and swipe. And that's it, flashing is done, so I'm gonna reboot the system, skip the auto boot, and boot to FFOS Maco. And booted. And there it is after a quick um, setup. This is Firefox OS. So that's it from me today. Be sure to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to XDA's channel right here. And to my channel right there. To get more content like this. Thank you for watching this video. This was Ryo Rosaizo. And I'll see you soon.